Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. Super excited. This is the Hollyland Lark 150. It's a brand new wireless microphone kit that was just released today. I'm super excited to try this out. You're going to love the design. This is the world's smallest and lightest microphone kit, but in my opinion, it's also the best designed. So going to unbox this, test it out, show you all of the specs and see what this thing can do. I know you're going to love it. So let's get straight into it. Inside the box, you've got yourself the user guide. Let's go and see what's inside here first. So you, you have a nice carry case there by Hollyland. There's a few accessories inside this. Right, you have the microphone cable, TRS to TRS. Two wind sleeves, two wired lavalier mics, and a USB-C charger. Now let's take a look at the kit itself. Now this is a charging case, so when you charge this, both transmitters and the receiver charge at the same time as well, and you'll be able to see the battery life, which I can show you in a second. When this is inside there, it both auto pairs very easily. You can do upgrades on the back. You'll see that this is the USB-C charging port. Let's go ahead, open this up, show you guys how it looks. Take a look at that. This is an awesome design. And this actually looks like my sound amplifier that I've got. I'm going to show you a side by side comparison, but this is one of the best receivers that I've seen, which makes things so easy to control both the volume, the output, both mono and stereo sound, and also to see the audio levels from each of the transmitters. So let's take this out. Take a look at that. So compact, so small and extremely light. This is only 21 grams. So you can see the magnetic clips there. You have yourself the belt clip or a cold shoe mount there at the back. On the left hand side you have the power on button and the mute button. On the top you have the internal microphone and the port for an external wired lavalier microphone. And then also some LED indicators there as well for the pairing and the battery life. So very straightforward. Let's take a look at the receiver. The design on this, it looks just like my Mix Pre 3s by Sound Devices, the sound audio recorder. And this also has a cold shoe mount there at the back. You've got a little LCD screen on the front as well, just to see all of the different informations from the transmitters. On the right hand side, you have the power on button there and a headphone jack for you to monitor the transmission. And you also have a line out port there as well. So let's go ahead, turn all of these on and showcase how this works. So I've got both the transmitters and the receiver inside the case. To see how much battery life there is of each, you just open up the case, press one of the buttons, it will turn on, it will pair, and then it will give you an indicator. But to power on, put the USB-C cable in there. Just double check. You can see one of the transmitters is still charging, it's amber. The receiver is charging, the case is charging, and one of the other transmitters is fully green. So you get a very good battery life on this. Check the link in the description below to check out all of the full specifications around the battery life and the capabilities. Okay, let's power on one of the transmitters and the receiver. So you can see one of them is on there. So on the screen for the receiver on the left hand side, you'll be able to see the battery life and the audio levels and to set mono or stereo. Now if you just twist, you can set the audio levels it can go all the way up to 10 decibels. We can twist this down to minus 10 decibels. And then if you just press it, it would mute or unmute the transmitter. So if I turn on the second one, you can just see side by side how they appear. There you go, instant pairing, unmute that. You can see you can adjust the volumes for each of them separately by twisting the knobs. And hands down, this is probably the best design I've seen on any wireless microphone kit. It's a very premium looking design as well. So I'm gonna use one of these. So let me just turn one of them off and I'll give you guys a sound test. So just before I go into the sound quality tests, let me cover three professional sound quality specs that come with this. Number one, it has anti-vibration sound chamber design. Number two, it has DSP, which is digital signal processor, which allows for intelligent noise cancellation. And number three, it has built-in high sensibility omnidirectional silicone microphones. So that gives you a awesome range of 
wireless audio transmission. Now let's go ahead, put this on myself and give you guys a test on the audio. So I've clipped the microphone now onto my shirt. It's pretty small, you can barely notice it's on there. Now the audio currently is coming from my shotgun microphone just above my head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the audio now to come directly from the Lark 150 just so you guys can get a comparison. Now the audio is coming directly from this microphone and it's being received by the receiver that I've just got on top of my Sony a7 III and I've adjusted it down to minus three decibels as well. It's so easy to adjust the audio levels and if you use both of the microphones you're having maybe an interview with two people then you can adjust both audio separately which I think is great and it's so easy to see and you can also mute one of them and let the other one talk and adjust that between them so you can just press it and it's muted I don't need to do the muting myself or anything like that so what I'm going to do is now connect the lavalier microphone to this and see how much of an audio difference it is so let me know what you guys think of that right so now the lavalier mic is on my shirt it's even harder to see which is even better so let me know what you guys think of the audio difference this is a very solid level in mic. It clips very strong and it doesn't move around. If I move my shirt around, it's not gonna cause too much problems. It's not gonna give you too much static in the background. I think it's so perfect. The next thing I'd like to try is to take this outdoors, test the range and also put the wind sleeve on it to see how much of the wind it can actually drown out. So let's go ahead and test that noise cancellation. All right guys, so now I'm outdoors. I've got the wind protector here. I've clipped it onto my shirt. Now this car park is about 150 meters long. The capabilities of this microphone says you can go up to 90 meters absolutely fine, which is 300 feet. So I'm going to test that. I really like doing these tests to see if you are going to do filming outdoors, what is the flexibility of the audio range. So let me go ahead and start walking backwards and let me know what you guys think of the audio, if it cuts off at any point, and uh, I'll obviously let you guys know of that. So I'm going to continue walking and I'll give you updates to when I get to specific lengths. So let's see how far I can take this. So this is roughly around 25 meters. I'm going to continue walking this way. Okay, right now I'm 50 meters. Now the one thing I'd like to mention as well, I am in a direct line of sight with the camera. The one thing you need to note is that if you do turn away from the camera and you have your back to it, the audio transmission might cut off. So here's an example. I'm going to turn around and I'm gonna continue speaking for another five, 10 seconds, and you guys might not hear me as well, so this is something to be aware of. So so did you guys hear me speaking for the last 10 seconds, or did it cut off? This is the key thing to remember. If you are gonna do filming, just make sure the transmitter is facing towards the receiver to get the best audio signal and of course the wind sleeve as well it's doing a great job blocking out any of the ambient noises of the background the road behind the car park any type of wind so that's really great to see so i'm going to continue walking backwards like this because i want to keep the microphone facing towards the camera which is you guys and i don't want the audio to cut out if i turn around the audio will cut out especially at this distance so that's something to be aware of if you are going to be doing filming especially you need to be in the line of sight of the camera otherwise if you go around corners or there's things blocking it then you may get audio cut out as well so right now i'm at 100 meters so this is uh, more than the range of its capabilities can you guys still hear me is it really good the car park itself is 150 meters let me see if i can push it back a little bit further it might start cutting off even though I am facing you directly. Let me turn around and walk a little bit further. This is about 150 meters. I am not sure if you guys can still hear me, but if you can, that is great. It's one of the best microphones that I've used so far. I'm gonna start heading back, come back to you guys, and then we'll take this back indoors. One thing to also remember is you can still use the lavalier mic. You'll get equally as great audio if you didn't want to clip this directly onto your shirt with the wind sleeve. Right, it's getting cold. Let's head back indoors. All right guys, I just played back the footage and I was so impressed that it actually picked it up at 150 meters. Now, 
I've tested multiple microphones before at that range. They've cut off, they, even though I was directly aiming at the receiver, it kept cutting off different places with other microphones. But this one by Hollyland, the Lark 150, it's done an excellent job. I'm so impressed with this, and this is by all means going to be my go-to wireless microphones, especially for filming outdoors. And I might even use this to shoot my videos indoors as well. It's that good. So now, finally, let's go back, head indoors, and finish off the video. Okay, so that was the audio review. I'm so happy with audio. The fact that I can adjust it every incremental decibel down to minus 10 all the way up to plus 10 is so convenient. Some of the other wireless microphones that I've used in the past, I can only adjust it from low, medium, high, maybe just three levels, maximum five levels. The amount of flexibility with this is so convenient to have, especially when you shoot a lot of videos in multiple different environments. The good thing I like about it is also the size. I can just use it without the lavalier microphone and without it worrying about moving my collar down or being too heavy on my shirt or anything like that. Compared to other wireless microphones, let's say for example, the Rode Wireless Go, you can just see here how smaller it is in comparison. It's so convenient. And the last thing I really like about it is the design. I have not found any other wireless microphone of this design which has a charging case to charge up all of the kit itself. The way this is designed, it's pretty much plug and play. It's easy to use for anyone that's a beginner or anyone that's an expert. You're just up and running, instant pairing. I'm so happy I'm gonna use this as my set of audio recording wireless mics no matter where I go now. And to be honest, I think it's better than the Rode Wireless Go in my own honest opinion. I definitely recommend this. Check it out, the link is down below of where you can uh, purchase this. Take a look at the latest pricing information. It was just released today. I know you guys are gonna like it. This is gonna be a big hit. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe. I've got tons more audio reviews coming out in the very near future. And make sure you like this video as well. And I will see you next time. Take care.